Welcome to your vinyasa practice. My name is Tessa. We will get started in a seated position, preferably if you can, um, in Virasana, which is just shins down, tops of the feet down, and sitting back on the heels. If the knees don't allow that kind of flexion, take something in between the ankles that your sits bones can rest on. Um, like a couple of blocks if you have those at home, or you can um, always fold up a pillow or some blankets, and that'll give you a little bit of a lift so there's less pressure on the knees. So we'll just take our hands to our thighs, roll the shoulders up and back. Maybe close the eyes for a few moments. Start to draw your awareness into the body. Noticing the breath. Noticing how your physical body feels in this moment right now. Take about three more breaths here. See if you can take a little bit longer on both inhale and exhale. Maybe start to draw the breath in and out through the nose. Good. And then when you're ready, you can interlace your hands together, press the palms away from you, round the upper back. You can draw your chin into your chest. Breathe into the back body. Keeping the hands interlaced, if you're able to press the palms up towards the ceiling, arms alongside the ears. Deep breath in here. And then deep breath out, we're gonna take that left hand down beside you, so fingertips can come to the floor, right arm reaching overhead, you're kind of just arching your body off towards your left. And then we'll add a little bit of chest opening, so we'll take this right arm, pull it back behind us, you might even look back behind you, just on that right side. And then exhaling right hand comes towards the floor next to your left hand so you're rounding forward over towards your left and we'll do that a few times we'll inhale and open up through the right side right chest and then exhale lower right hand down next to your left hand twice more inhale to open exhale to round inhale to open Exhale to round, and this time as you round forward, we're gonna sweep across the front of the body and just take it off to the second side. So right fingertips will root alongside you, left arm up and overhead. Breathe some space into the lateral side body, the side ribs, the armpit. And then maybe you take that left arm back behind you, you might even look behind you a little bit. Feel that stretch across the front of the chest. And then exhale around forward and down towards the right side. Fingertips can touch the mat. Inhale, open up through that left side of the chest. And then exhale, close off towards the right side. A few more times, inhale to open. Exhale to close. One more time like that, inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna sweep across the front of the body and just go side to side now. So with that inhale breath, the right arm's gonna sweep up and overhead. You can look behind you. Right arm's gonna trace down towards your left, sweep across the front of the body. And then the left arm's gonna circle out and open. You might follow the left hand with your gaze. Continue side to side. So you're just making these semi-circles with the upper body and the arms leading the way. Gaze can follow. Just finding a little bit of mobility in the spine, noticing how shoulders feel, how the neck feels. One more time, each side. Good. 
Good, and then we'll come forward to hands and knees into tabletop. If you're using a prop underneath the sits bones, you can set that off to the side. We'll take that into cat-cow, so articulating the spine towards the ceiling and then towards the mat. Pressing the palms down into the mat. Wrists stacked underneath the shoulders, knees stacked underneath the hips as you breathe in and out. Good. Now come forward to tabletop, just a neutral spine hug your navel in. Extend your right leg back. Curl the right toes under, press down through the ball mound of the right foot, start to shift weight forward, backward. So your right foot's still on the ground. You're just shifting forward and backward. And then press back into the ball mound of the right foot, pause, hold, feel your quadricep muscle engage there. Float the right leg off of the mat, just keeping it that right leg parallel, no higher. Start to feel, if you can, this action of right hamstring, glute engaging to keep that right hip point pointing straight down towards the mat. We're gonna work with that by bending the right knee, right heel towards the glute, squeeze, see if you can feel your hamstring activate, press the right leg towards straight. We'll do that a few times. So inhale, bend the knee, right heel towards the glute, press the leg towards straight, bend the knee, and straighten the leg. Twice more. Once more. Re-extend that right leg long. Pull the right knee forward and through. Round in. See if you can get your nose towards your knee. And then keeping the knee bent, press the right foot up towards the ceiling. And now let your back just really arch like you're in a back bend. Do that a few times. So knee stays bent, right knee in towards the nose. And then the foot presses up and back towards the ceiling. Arch your back and round in. Twice more. Once more. Right leg goes long, it extends behind you. Spin the sole of the foot to the mat. Turn your right hip open. Supported Vashtasana side plank, right arms reaching high. So left palm underneath left shoulder, right hip on top of left hip. I'm turning my left toes out to the side like a little kickstand. And then we're just gonna float the right leg up and down. See if you can feel your outer right hip turn on. Up and down, lifting the right leg and lowering. Last three. Last two. Last one. Now right palm back down, right knee back down, cat cow. Stay with that breath, take a few open mouth exhales, so let go of any excess heat, any excess tension you may have accumulated. Curl both your toes under, press into the hands, and lift the hips up and back. Let's find downward facing dog. We will do the second side, but I want to take a break here in down dog to lengthen out the low back and check back in with the spine. Relax your head here. Inhale, shift forward, come back to tabletop and extend your left leg back behind you. Keep that left foot in contact with the mat first here. You're curling those left toes under, you're pressing down through the ball mount of the foot, and then you're just finding this shift forward and backward. So it's kind of like you're opening the sole of the left foot, also feeling that quadricep muscle engage on the left side. Come back to neutral, hug that navel into the spine, float the left leg just to about parallel with the floor. Start to feel the hamstring engage. Bend that left knee, left heel towards the glute, and then extend. And we're just gonna stay with this motion a few times. Bend and extend that left leg. Keep breathing. One more time, extend. And then exhale, round in, left knee towards the nose. 
Keep the bend in the knee, start to press that left foot up towards the ceiling, arch the back, let it go. We'll do that a few times. So bending that left knee in towards the nose, round in. Keep that bend, press the left foot up towards the ceiling. Last two. Now re-extend that left leg long behind you. Let the sole of the foot come down to the back of the mat. So turn the sole of the foot till it's planted. Right toes can swivel behind you like a little kickstand. Left arms reaching up towards the ceiling. So we're opening up the hips, reaching that left arm high, supported Vashistasana. Okay, so right knee is down, left leg floats up and lowers. Floats up and lowers. Try that a few times. See if you can start to feel that left outer hip glute area activate. Last two. Last one. Come back to tabletop. Couple rounds of cat cow. Good, and then we'll come back to neutral. Curl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Bend the knees right and left, walk it out, relax your head, let your spine be long. Good. So we'll move through a few um, half sun salutations to start to warm up the spine and the hips. We'll do this by first lifting the heels, bending the knees, and then just walking your way forward to the top of your mat. Come into your first forward fold. Relax your head, bend your knees. You can take your opposite elbows. You can sway your body side to side. Two deep breaths here. Now fingertips to shins, lengthen out, halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, refold. Now really press down into your heel bones, engage your quadriceps, sweep your arms forward, come all the way up to standing. Take your feet a little bit wider than your hips, turn your toes out, hands to the heart. We're gonna sit into a squat. It doesn't have to be your deepest squat. Just take a moment to squat as low as your knees, your hips and your ankles will allow. Now exhale, forward fold. Turn your toes to point straight forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, refold. Press into your heel bones. Sweep your arms forward. Come all the way to standing. We'll do that twice more. So turning the toes out. Feet slightly wider. Hands to the heart. Sink the hips. Bend the knees. Come into your squat. Exhale, fold. Turn the toes to point forward. Relax your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, refold, pressing into those heel bones, strong legs, sweep the arms forward and up all the way to Tadasana, arms overhead. Exhale, the hands to the heart. One more time, we'll squat low. Turn the toes out, adjust the feet, bend the knees, sink the hips. Deep breath in here. Exhale, fold in. Turn the toes to point forward, adjust the feet so that they're about hip width distance apart. I'm going to step back here into high plank. Pause in your high plank. Feel your inner thighs squeeze towards one another. Feel your quadricep muscles engage away from your knees. Press the floor away, slight round in the upper back. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. One more breath. Press into the hands, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward again, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Use the support of the knees to make your way down. Walk your wrists back underneath your elbows. Shrug your shoulders down your back. Let your forehead rest on the mat. Squeeze your elbows close into your side ribs. Press down through the tops of the feet. Inhale, lift the chest and the head forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. 
Exhale, lift. One more time, lift and lower on your own. Now we'll press up to either high plank or tabletop. We'll meet up in downward facing dog. So we'll add on to our vinyasa from here. From your downward facing dog, bring your big toes together to touch at the back of the mat. Press into both hands, keep your shoulders squaring forward and down. Sweep your right leg up and back. Bend that right knee, point the right knee towards the ceiling. Squeeze the right heel towards the glute and then straighten out the right leg. Bend and straighten the right leg. Just continue bending and straightening the right leg. So similar to what we did in tabletop, we've just turned the hip open and now we're in down dog. One more time, bend and straighten. Flex your right foot, turn the right toes to point towards the mat. Hug your right knee in towards the chest. Work that right foot between the hands. Spin your left foot down to the mat, rise up to warrior two. Pause here and settle, warrior two. So adjusting the front toes to point straight forward, back foot's parallel with the short edge of your mat. Press into your right heel bone, straighten out through the right leg, engage that right quadricep away from the right knee, and sweep that right arm up high, left arm stretches down towards the back leg. So we're gonna move in and out of reverse trikonasana, which is in what you're in now, to warrior two. So bending that right knee, arms go wide. Reverse trikonasana, press that right leg straight, Stay engaged with the right quadricep and right heel bone pressing down. Exhale to warrior two. One more time like that, inhale up. Exhale, warrior two. And five pointed stars, so both legs straight, turning the toes till they're parallel with one another. And we're just switching to the back of our mat, warrior two. Left toes pointing back, left knee bends. Same thing. Press the left leg straight, sweep that right arm down, left arm high. Reverse trikonasana to the back of your mat. Bend the left knee, warrior two. Straighten out that left leg, reverse trikonasana. Twice more, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse trikonasana. Inhale, warrior two, pause here, settle, breathe. Press into that left heel, inhale. Exhale. Sweep both arms down till you're framing your left foot at the back of your mat and step into high plank from here. Option to move through a vinyasa flow. Inhaling into a back bend of your choosing. Exhaling to either child's pose or downward facing dog. Your choice depending on your energy level, how your body feels, what you're needing. Just check in. Take three breaths wherever you are. Okay, so we're gonna do that all again on the right side. You might not be able to see me. You know, if your back is facing the camera, we're just gonna do that exact same thing on the exact same side. So right leg's gonna lift from down dog. You're gonna bend that right knee and point that right knee towards the ceiling. Straighten out through the right leg. Do this three times, bend and straighten right leg. The next time the right leg straightens, flex the toes, turn the right hip to point down, hug the right knee into the chest, plant the foot between the hands. Spin that back heel to flat, warrior two. Reverse Trikonasana. Now synchronize that breath. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse Trikonasana. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse Trikonasana. Last time, inhale, warrior two. And then press both, time, both legs straight, five pointed star to transition, warrior two to the top of your mat. Bending your left knee, looking forward over your left fingertips. Same thing, reverse trikonasana. Left leg moves towards straight, warrior two, bend that left knee. Reverse trikonasana, warrior two, bend the left knee. Twice more, inhale, reverse trikonasana. 
exhale, warrior two. One last time, inhale. Exhale, settle into warrior two. Windmill both hands down, top of the mat, framing out the left foot, stepping into high plank. Option to move through a vinyasa or skip it all together. Always your practice, always your choice. You're learning how to discern what is appropriate for you based on what you need. Okay, so we're gonna move through that little flow. It's called a mandala flow. When we move all the way around the mat in a circle, we're just gonna leave with the left now. So left leg sweeps up and back from down dog. Bend that left knee, point it towards the ceiling, flex the left foot, start to straighten out through that left leg, re-bend the knee, straighten and bend. Continue. Keep breathing. And then the last time that left leg straightens, turn the hip till it points down, flexing the toe, hug the knee into the chest, plant the left foot between the hands. You're back to warrior two. You were just here. Reverse Trikonasana, press into that left heel. Exhale, warrior two. Press into the left heel, reverse Trikonasana. Exhale, warrior two. One last time. Five pointed star transitions us to the back of the mat. Warrior two on the right, bending the right knee, looking over the right fingertips. You're pointing the back of your mat. Reverse Trikonasana. Warrior two. Reverse Trikonasana. Warrior two. One more time, inhale. Exhale, settling in, warrior two. Both hands spin down to frame out your right foot. You're facing the back of your mat still. High plank, option to move through vinyasa. Find a back bend that's working for you. And then we'll meet up and down dog. Last time through our mandala flow on the left side still. <sighs> Inhale, left leg sweeps up and back. Bend the knee. Heel towards the glute. Keep that left foot flexed. Inhale, straighten out the leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Straighten out. Turn that left hip point to point down. Flex the toes. Hug the knee into the chest. Plant the foot between the hands. Spin up, warrior two. Left side. You're still facing the back of your mat. Reverse trikonasana. Left leg moves towards straight. Exhale, warrior two. Three more times, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale, exhale. Five pointed star makes your transition back to warrior two, top of the mat, right knee points straight forward. You're looking over your right fingertips. Okay, just four times through, reverse trikonasana. Exhale, warrior two. Again, you're facing now the top of your mat. You've come full circle in this mandala flow. Twice more reverse trikonasana. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse trikonasana. Settle into warrior two. Both hands spin down, top of the mat. Step back, high plank. Option to take that final vinyasa flow here. Find a back bend that works for you. You can choose to exhale and settle into child's pose or maybe one final downward facing dog. Either way, you're just lengthening out the vertebrae of the back body, the posterior chain, in particular the low back. Two more breaths wherever you are. Good, we'll shift forward if you're in uh, down dog, set the knees to the mat. We'll come back to that Virasana pose we began with in the start of the class. And if again, you want that block in between your sits bones, go ahead, place it there or whatever prop you were using. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a block. Place your hands on your thighs, deep breath in. You might close the eyes here, three slow breaths. Let's slow it down.
last two. Last one. Good. Interlace the hands, palms press forward, round the upper back. Inhale, palms press up towards the ceiling. So we're gonna come back to what we did at the beginning of class, left fingertips down to the floor beside you, right arm over, reaching over towards your left, and then exhale, pull the shoulder open. You might look behind you a couple, couple times through that semicircle. Right arm's gonna sweep down forward, and then right fingertips plant outside of your mat, right side, left arm sweeping overhead. Exhale, left shoulder opens. You might look behind you. And we'll continue that semi-circle. Side to side, left fingertips down, right arm overhead. Open the chest. Sweep that right arm down and forward. Coming to your second side. Okay, so even if it doesn't look like mine, even if it's a different pace, even if it's a different shape altogether, that's okay. Notice how your spine's feeling. And we're going to come back for center and we'll stand up on our knees. We're going to take this one step further. We've been working for this all class and now we're ready and we're nice and warm. The spine's mobile. We're going to work through camel pose in a little bit more of a fluid, fluid way. So standing up on your knees, you might tuck your toes under. So you're pressing down through the ball mounds of the feet. Your heel bones are a little bit higher now. And then we'll take that left arm up and back. It might graze the heel bone. Right arm's just reaching high. And then we're gonna round forward, both arms graze the floor, right fingertips back to the right heel, left arm sweeping high and overhead. And then switching sides. So fingertips come forward. Left fingertips, left heel, right arm overhead. Fingertips come forward. Right fingertips, right heel, left arm overhead. Just continue. Kind of like a little back bend dance, swaying side to side. And next time you move off to the right side, that will be your last one of these and we'll just come up to standing. Toes can stay curled under if you want. You could sit back on your heels for a moment, a break. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, so camel pose. Again, toes can, can stay curled under if you want. Heel bones are a little bit higher this way, so they're a little bit closer to reach. You can also be on the tops of your feet. Heel bones are a little bit lower, makes the back bend a little bit more pronounced. So play with the feet. You can also use a block. If you do have that block, it can be nice to set it on, on a high setting because that's higher than your heel bones. So we'll start with the left side. We'll inhale, left arm's gonna sweep up and back, rotate behind you, fingertips maybe to the block if it's there, or the left heel, right arm high. So pressing the belly, the pelvis forward, opening the chest. And we'll switch sides. So reach forward with that right arm, let yourself stand up. Relax both your arms, cleansing breath. Right arm's gonna sweep high, rotate back behind you, fingertips find that block or the heel bone. Left arm sweeps up. It's just reaching up, that left arm's just reaching up to pull the belly, the hip bones, and the chest forward. And we're just pausing here and breathing. Good. Come out of that. Left arm's gonna pull you forward. Take a moment to sit back on the heels, hands on the thighs, pause, breathe. All right, so for this last round, you can choose to do, again, one side at a time, or if camel pose in both of the hands back is something that you wanna experiment, something that you wanna try, we can try that together. Okay. So I like to approach this by first engaging the front body, reaching the arms straight forward, and then just start to lean back. Feel the front body catch and engage the belly, the quads, everything's holding you up as you're leaning back, okay? Once you find your furthest range of motion in your body, pause there. 
You can just simply sweep one fingertips back at a time. Maybe you find your heel, maybe you find your blocks. If you have a hold of your heels, you can start to press the belly forward. Your choice with the head, you can lean it back into the shoulders. You can keep lifting the head up. See if you can take three breaths. You're doing it side to side, switch sides. And then to get out of this, hands to the low back, press the hips forward, give your back body a little bit of support. Hips back to heels, we'll take those knees wide, stretch the arms forward, come to child's pose. So option here in your child's pose, to keep the knees wide, reach the hands back, maybe you lightly hold your heel bones with both your hands. A little bit different variation. May or may not work for you, may or may not feel good. So as always, it's just an experiment in discerning what is best for your body at this moment in time. Three more breaths in your child's pose. Feel the heart rate cool. Feel the heart rate slow. Now we'll press the palms underneath the shoulders, lift up just enough so that we can come on to our back body. We'll take happy baby next. So the idea here is that we continue to decompress the low back and happy baby, we get access to pressing the lumbar spine down by pulling the knees wide. You can reach for the soles of the feet. You can reach anywhere along the legs. It doesn't have to be the feet that you catch. See so if you can feel your low back pressing down into the mat, even maybe your tailbone pressing down. So you're lengthening out through your back body. Relax your head, relax your shoulders. Find your breath. Option, if it's accessible to you, to press the legs towards straight one at a time or two at a time. Um, option to move side to side. That's calling. Good. Couple more breaths here and then we'll settle into our Shavasana for a minute of silence and stillness. When you're ready, you can lengthen out on your back. If you prefer, you could take your legs up the wall. Just a place where you can find stillness. Relax your shoulders down your back. Find a comfortable position to rest your hands. Slight tilt of the chin in towards the chest. I'm gonna set us a timer here. Deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth, exhale the air out. Let your eyes flutter closed, find stillness. Find the whole body relaxed, soft, shavasana. As always, if you have more time in your day, please feel free to stay as long as you can. If you need to move on, start to awaken fingertips, toes, you can circle out through the wrists. If you have space above you, you can stretch your arms overhead and breathe into the length of the body. If you're on your back, bend your knees and roll off to a side. Pressing into your hands, rise on up to a comfortable upright seat for just a few moments. We'll close out our practice. I invite you to take one hand to the belly and one hand to the heart, connecting and acknowledging this is my body, this is my breath. Bowing the chin in with reverence and gratitude for our practice. May we use the fruits to serve our highest good, to reach our highest potential, share it with those around us that we love and who could use healing. 
Together we send love and healing to all sentient beings around the world that may be suffering. May they be happy. May they be free. Namaste, yogis. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed. Please come back again soon and take care of yourselves in the meantime.